Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question what you can do if you have this blue screen on Windows 11 could be also some other version of Windows, Microsoft Windows and it's stuck for very long time on complete. You wait for a little bit, couple of minutes or so, maybe 10 minutes or so and in a sudden the system will from the blue screen switch into the BIOS setup. I've never seen that before in my whole life. That was super weird. It just stopped with the zero progress on the blue screen. I was thinking it will show me a progress there and then show 100% and finished or so or another error. No, it went automatically into the BIOS setup was showing me this and I couldn't do anything, especially I couldn't uh, save and exit. That was the huge problem. I hope I can show you that here. I tried a couple of times to save the configuration and exit and it really didn't do anything. It stayed just here in the BIOS setup. And then of course I also tried to exit without saving. You can choose this card, changes and exit here. Click on yes. You can see what happened. It just stayed here in the BIOS exactly same page here. Really crazy stuff and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I can just hit the on off button or the start button of my PC. I've been really worried but this is then what I did. I hit the start button. I actually had to do it twice. First time nothing happened but on the second attempt then uh, it showed the American Mega Trends BIOS. It took quite a while to do something after that. So I think it still had to recover something. But after that it showed the normal Windows login screen. Of course at the beginning just the date and time. But after you click here you can enter your password and it will start like normal absolutely no problem at least in my case i've been super worried that it requested me to do something in the bias because it brought me to the bios screen and it wouldn't allow me to leave not with saving or also not without saving any changes so i've been super worried so my recommendation at this point is you can do that probably quite safely. Of course I cannot give you 100% guarantee that it will work in every case but I think it will work in most of the cases. Just hit the on off button or even the real power button of your PC. I mean that's just the start uh, stop pause button. With larger desktop PCs you have also this hardware power button which you could use. Maybe it's even better to really remove the whole power. In case it wouldn't start there is sometimes also another option especially with a lot of mini PCs you have usually a pinhole here where you can reset the BIOS. A lot of PCs especially mini PCs they have such an option to reset the BIOS. I think a lot of people are not aware of that. Here in this case I think I don't have something like that and anyway it was not needed. So that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or other opinions or other experience then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.